Hi, it's Lynn from Lily C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And I'm coming on with a quick tutorial to show you a card made with the peaceful cabin and the cabin die, coordinating cabin dies. Now, this is a suite that is in the mini catalog and it is called peaceful place and i'm also going to feature uh, some of the beautiful peaceful place um, specialty designer series paper and this is the card that we're going to make um, it's a really simple but fancy fold hopefully you can see that i've got the camera in a different position today um, and i'm going to show you how i put this together it is fairly um easy to do but before I do I'm just going to run through the stamp set has some wonderful images and then the dies cut cut this out with um, a slope um, the cabin it cuts you can stamp the trees and then use the die cut to cut those out and I've used those on here um, but there are also some other dies. The stamp, this cuts out the um, fence, but there are some other little dies. So there are dies, three trees that are independent. There's a tiny little fence there. And then you have this, which cuts out some stars. Now, actually you could create a, um, a starry night if you wanted to with by repeat die cutting this you get six stars but also you could use that as a mask um, and I think this I'm trying to work out how to use this now this is cut out Oops. always happens this is cut out by combining these two and um, I think I'm going to try and make some cards. I haven't really had a play around with it. I've put some so saffron behind there to make it look like a window. But actually, I've got a feeling that would be quite nice as a with a light behind it or as a, um, a you know, a, a black. So you could have a night sky and it's all in darkness with the fire burning inside I don't know I haven't really I've only just got this set so I've just only started playing with it and then this was cut out with this die and then placing these little dies in between you've got one so you can actually see through the trees and again I think that would be nice if there were light behind it or if you had stamped the image and then had this um, so you could see the colour behind it, give it a little bit more depth. So I've got, there's plenty to play around with for that. Specialty designer series paper is absolutely gorgeous. Now this is all that's left of one of the sheets. You get two in the pack. Um, it is star, I used it on a team's, recent team swap, swap um, checked on the back. This is beautiful, beautiful silver elements throughout, plain on the back. This is the one that I've, I'm using and you can see it, you get four panels, so you get eight in all. The back of that is some really soft grey and white. I do love the um, monochrome. Now that is beautiful, it looks like bark and beautiful trees silver element there and that is the cabins that's rather a nice background You've got a little fox and this is beautiful as well so you could cut that in half and then make panels to make some quick and easy Christmas cards I am using the Stamparatus to stamp the cabin because I want to make sure I've got a good clean image i've cut down my dsp already but i shall show you how i cut down my cardstock thick basic white and with our trimmer you can butt the, the cardstock 
right up against the arm this comes out to measure goes to 17 inches but if you close it and click it shut that is six inches so I'm going to cut that down to six save that turn that round six and that is the back piece and I am going to score that in half just to help that fold. I'm not going to worry about scoring the designer series paper. I'm just going to stick that down in a moment. But out of this piece, this measures two and a quarter. And I want seven inches. And I'm going to score that half a centimetre, half an inch, sorry, half an inch on each side. Now I'm hoping that's in half an inch on each side. I have to check. Yes. There we go. Put that off to one side. And then the the other bit, I want a piece that measures five by three quarters. So let's have a look. That's five. So three and three quarters. By five. And then on this five inch side, I'm going to score again at half an inch from either side. I found this was the easiest way for me to get this done. So those are the pieces that you need and you are le you're left with a few bits. So let me put those off to one side. I'm just going to, so I'm going to take that one, take the fence, and we'll take that outline there. I'm going to get to my stamping. And I'm going to stamp the cabin on this piece. You can see I've already stamped it down. And I've worked out that's where I want it to be Ooh. and this fits you just have to trim it off slightly on that end but that's absolutely fine so let's the only ink I'm going to use is basic grey and then at the end you can have a look I've got various options for the sentiment and I wasn't sure what to do now that might be a bit low oh it's definitely lower than my previous that's all right these things can be adapted um, that's that and then and I want to stamp those trees. So I've got these trees mounted on a block, but I'm going to do these still in basic grey ink. Now, I also want some additional trees, so I'm going to pop that down, put those two down, those are the spare bits, and I'm going to ink up the trees, and I'll just tilt them to make sure that I get the whole stamped image. Yep, perfect. 
So now I'm going to go and I'm going to die cut all of my bits and I'll be back. Okay, that's them. I'm going to trim that off. That has cut one side. But I'm going to trim that down at an angle because when that's on the card I don't want you to see the back bit so although that's down I'm gonna do that as well and the same with this so cut that so that it lines up and I'm gonna stick now what I used on my original card I used some of the lovely shimmery white embossing paste. I'm going to get my silicone mat. I'm going to do the same again. Just adding it just as a little bit of an accent. Easier to do in advance and, and let it dry. So, scoop a little bit out with my spatula. bit like that to the edge and I did actually put a little bit on the trees just to give them a little bit of color it's tiny and we'll do the same and I'm not all coming all the way down because some of this will be hidden and I'm a little bit of a frugal crafter lovely same again a bit like icing a cake Which I don't do very often, that's why I'm making such a meal out of this. Uh, uh. So now I'm going to let that let that dry and I'm just going to quickly Trim those trees. Cover that over for a minute. Take us some of that excess white. We're slightly rushing to do the die cutting and have it misaligned. There we go. Hear the dog playing away in the background. How cute is that? And I'm just going to take the tiniest bit on there and do the same with those trees. Just give it a tiny little bit. It's drying already. Lovely. that down and make sure that lid is fastened 
nice and tight. So now it's just a question of, I'm going to add that with multi-purpose glue or add with the glue of your choice. Now I'm going to put, I'm putting more on than I would normally. It is a new bottle, so it's, I do have a tendency to squirt out, but also I want to make sure that this is nicely stuck down. And that is just so pretty. And this is where I had a trouble with this one because I didn't know, I didn't want to cover up any of the silver elements of the trees i just think it's so pretty so i'm going to turn off and we'll come back when that is dried okay so we've left that to dry and that's nice and dry now it didn't take very long um it's maybe been 10 minutes i just went off and did something else so just a question of actually sticking this together now and before i put on the other panels i'm just going to where I'd scored it, I'm going to fold that and give it a burnish. Lovely. And then that, I'm just going to Give that a little bit of a curl and basically we are going to put glue on these two tabs and I'm going to fold those back on each on themselves. I'm going to stick that almost to the bottom and roughly in the middle. Just give that a little bit of time for the glue to adhere. Now as you know um, I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator, so I do have a store. And if you were interested in purchasing any of these products, if you don't have a demonstrator, then I would love to be your demonstrator. And I will put links in uh, the description box below to um, both my blog and my store where you can get more all the um, measurements for this card lots of other project ideas and um, a link to my online shop so again glue on the tabs and i'm going to stick those one on the edge there making sure it's you're lined up at the bottom and one there now i'm not I'm not too worried about that because I am going to add these trees here or maybe here. I'm going to add those trees down the bottom there. I'm just going again giving these a little bit of a bend. So basically you want it's called a I don't know what it's called, a bendy card, but it stands up to display quite nicely um, and you just want to sort of give it a little bit of a curve so that it bends Bend, hence the name bendy and now i'm going to stick some glue on the front edge of those trees I'm going to hold that there just to making sure that they're upright to give it time to adhere to that front panel. Lovely. 
and then this little um, fence panel will go there and I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a little dimensional there might need a glue dot but hold it down and just to give it a chance to attach hopefully that works oh, no. may need a glue dot I think with the embossing paste it's not as easy let's stick our finger on there for a minute This gives it a nice little bend. There we go. And then I think that tree there can go on a couple of dimensionals. I can go in there. Fabulous, I like that. And then does it need a sentiment? So I'm going to enter this card into the Global Design Project Challenge this week, which is a theme and it's the theme of thank you. So I have done that. And actually, I quite like that. I think that balances it out so I have used to create that I've used the double um, oval punch my brain went frozen then so the double oval punch um, and I have used punched out some silver foil for the the back bit and I've heat embossed the sentiment in white on basic grey to keep the colours exactly the same, monochrome and I think I'm just going to glue that on flat and there you have a really nice thank you card there we go so it stands up like that but it folds flat to go in an envelope a six by six envelope and there we have it so thank you very much this one i was going to use the, the, the thank you is from the stamp set and i have heat embossed in silver May you enjoy the peace of the beautiful season. And I was going to stick it there because that balances it out with the cabin this side. But I didn't want to cover up the trees. What do you think? With or without? With or without? Leave me a comment and um, I'll see if I'm, I may add it on later. And I've, I'll share on my blog one other card that I've made. Um actually adding a bit of colour so thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you have liked the video please give me a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post my cards which is usually on a good week on a Sunday so thanks a lot see you again next week bye for now